Hi YouTubers, uh, this is Al again. Uh, what you're looking at is uh, my computer screen showing you uh, the power production of my uh, Sharp uh, solar panels. There's eight of those. Uh, each one has an end phase, uh, 190 watt microinverter behind it. And you can see it's uh, right now it's 12:44 uh, p.m. You can kind of see the time here. Uh, and right now we're producing about 1.3 kilowatts uh, of energy. Today's energy I produced three and a half kilowatts. Past seven day 58.2 kilowatts, and this month, uh, obviously we just started the month 58.2. And the lifetime energy for the system has only been 83 because I just plugged it in on the first or the Friday before the first. I forget uh, when I bought the Envoy. Uh, the reason I came to look at it is because I have a panel that's not producing, so I gotta uh, make sure that when I was on the roof yesterday, as I was uh, touching all power connections, maybe I knocked that one loose. Uh, so I kind of gotta take a look at that and see why that's, that one's not reporting. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, here's a graph of uh, the power production. As you can see, you know, it peaks up at about. Uh, 1.585, 1.6 kilowatts, which is exactly what I have. Uh, so I have, you know, eight panels at 200 watts each. That's 1.6 kilowatts. So at peak day, I'm producing full power. Uh, today it's obviously a little lower than that. Uh, it is somewhat cloudy out there, and you can see that uh, throughout the week uh, because you can see when I go to the seven-day uh, screen, for example you will see that uh, uh, the graph changes so that uh, oh, let me see if I can get it, there we go you can see the peaks uh, tend to be right up where I need them to be 1500 watts or so uh, about 1500 watts this one 1585 and so on and then you can see the cloudy days when they come around you know what's going on right uh, and you can see the cloud effect on these panels. Now these are uh, polycrystalline panels, uh, yeah, but for the most part they're, they're doing very well uh, with those microinverters. The one nice thing about the M-phase inverters is that you know you can monitor them like this. Uh, you can look at you know going back at a lifetime or four weeks. Uh, you can look at my 24 hours and see kind of what went on, and then uh, the day by day for each one. I can actually zoom in on. on any one panel and take a look at it. So if I click on a single panel, I can take a look at what's the power production of that panel, what are the metrics behind it, and so on. Um, so here's the power production for uh, that one panel, as you can see. Uh, it picked out around 198.7 watts. Again, those uh, microinverters are rated at 190 watts, so they're actually producing more than they're rated at. And the panels themselves are actually sharp panels uh, rated at 224 watts. You're never going to get 100% efficiency, but we're getting pretty good. Uh, so now all i got to do is uh, climb up on the roof and find out what's going on with that panel. That panel, uh, I'm fairly sure something just uh, got knocked off because I was messing with all the wires yesterday. And... Uh, I just need to go up there and take a look at it. When I look at that uh, at that panel, I know that I've been producing uh, you know a fair amount of power uh, every day, as you can see here. So this is the power production for this one specific panel day today, and uh, you know today we're not making a whole lot. We were making some power uh, until about this time, uh, which was 9:50 a.m., and then something got dropped off. So I gotta take a look and see either it's not communicating properly, or uh, you know something's wrong up there. So I gotta take a look at it and see what's going on. But that's the beauty of the system that it's easy to manage. Uh, unlike the microinverters that you'll buy from eBay and stuff like that, you know this this each one of these microinverters are about two hundred dollars. You can get them for about one seventy five. So what you would pay for something that's made in China? That has no warranty whatsoever. This is a lot better. I put one behind each panel. They have a 15-year warranty. 
and I can monitor them locally or I can monitor them through the web uh, you know there's just no reason to buy some Chinese junk when you can get something that's this good uh, the downside to it is that there are some panels that are qualified for it and some are not but you can almost uh, always make any panel work as long as you uh, do the necessary work to do the string voltage uh, so that it will match the power curve of these panels so that's what I wanted to show you uh, essentially and uh, I will give you an update when I have the new grid tie inverter with the new uh, 20 DuPont panels and that would add another uh, bit of energy uh, to the system uh, you know on a daily basis uh, if I go back to my system itself uh, right up here I can click on that and I can take a look and see what is the daily average that I'm producing and I can also uh, get reports on a day-to-day -day, on a month by month uh, so it is a pretty neat uh, way of doing it so like today for example I've produced 4.2 kilowatts I think yesterday I, cr I made about 9 kilowatts or something like that so for example if I go to reports uh, and I pick on the date that I want let's say I'll go to I don't know the 6 on Saturday the 6 click on it and then click on submit I should get something back and what I got is that on a day I produce nine and a half kilowatts out of those panels that's pretty good Anyways, that's kind of what I wanted to show you. Uh, God bless everybody. Hope you all have a blessed day. And for those of you that don't know the Lord, I'm praying that as you're watching this video, uh, that the Lord moves you and that you find Him. Or that someone close to you or someone you know will tell you about the Lord, tell you about their experience and how He changed their life, and you come to Him. Thanks, everybody. Take care.